Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here, and we are back on the range today. Today we are going to be testing some unaltered factory 6.5 PRC ammo against some factory PRC, <coughs> pardon me, factory 6.5 PRC ammo that I adjusted the overall length on. So sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. Okay, so got my target set up. We're gonna shoot five rounds of unaltered factory ammo here. We're gonna put five rounds of altered factory ammo there. I'm contemplating if I need to set the chronograph up too. See if adjusting the uh, overall length changes the velocity. You know what, we might just do that. I'm gonna get me some steps in. I'm gonna go get the chronograph set up. I'll bring y'all right back. Alrighty, y'all. So, let me come a little closer to the camera here. Factory ammo. These five right here are fresh from the factory. These five, I've adjusted the overall length by that much. There's a visible difference here. So we're gonna shoot five unaltered, five altered. We're gonna put them over the chronograph. We're gonna see how they shoot and how fast they shoot. Let me load the mag. And we'll start slinging some lead. Ears in, eyes on. Hopefully, chronograph lady talks to me loud enough today. Let me turn that up. Yep, we're all the way up. I don't think I had the magazine on all the way. Okay. Make sure we're over the chronograph. I really don't want to be missing any data. Okay, left hand target, unaltered. Factory 6.5 PRC. Two thousand eight hundred twenty-six. Twenty-eight twenty-six. That seems to be running faster than it did last time. Got a fighter jet taking off. Sound of freedom. Two thousand eight hundred five. Twenty eight oh five. <clears throat> Twenty seven ninety four. Two thousand seven hundred eighty four. Twenty seven eighty four. And the factory ammo seems to be shooting a group today, just slow. Let 
last shot. Two thousand seven hundred fifty-seven. Twenty-seven fifty-seven. Well, yeah, it looks like we had a good group going till the last shot. Let's see what our uh, average was. Our five-shot average gave us twenty-seven ninety-three, with an extreme spread of. 69, standard deviation of 23. According to the box, this ammo is supposed to be giving us 2,900 feet per second. I don't know what their test barrel was, but out of a 24 inch barrel, it should have, uh, should have done a little bit better. We're gonna let the barrel cool for a second, and then we'll reshoot the adjusted ammo. Alrighty, interesting. I had to run down and take a closer look. I don't know if it's a uh, something to do with the temperature because it's kind of cool, or maybe the first time we shot, the gun was too dirty, and the second time we shot, the gun was too clean because. That five round group looks to be possibly just under an inch, which is better, way better. But now we'll see what the modified ammo does. Okay, chronograph's on, target camera's on. I made sure that the battery was still running down there because cool temperatures tend to kill the batteries. And we are ready to Rock and roll with the adjusted OAL on the factory ammo. Let me verify that we are in fact over the chronograph. That should work, I hope. Okay, <clears throat> now remember, I lengthened these by about 0 0.07 inches. I did not remove the bullet from the case, so there's no contamination to the powder. I simply knocked the bullet out just a little bit and then reseated it to the proper length. Altered ammo will be on the right hand dot. Here we go. Twenty-eight thirty-five. Twenty-eight thirty-one. I'm thinking maybe it didn't like being lengthened. That or I jerked the trigger. Don't know. We'll see what happens. I didn't feel like I jerked the trigger, but two thousand eight hundred thirty-eight. <clears throat> Twenty-eight thirty-eight. Twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight fifteen. Well, we did make one improvement. Not the improvement I want it to make. The group looks horrible. But our five shot average was 28.23. Our extreme spread was 38 and our standard deviation was 14. So lengthening the OAL on the factory ammo narrowed 
our velocity, increased our velocity, and made some improvement there. But then work for squat on the group. Okay, let me go get the target. We'll be right back. Well, the unaltered factor load gave us a five shot group that looks like it's going to be about a, uh, maybe just under three quarters of an inch. Maybe just about three quarters of an inch. We'll see when I get home. Altering the OAL did not help our group, but it did help our velocity. It brought us up, oh, uh, what, close to, close to 30 feet per second and cut our extreme spread in half and cut our standard deviation just about in half as well. So, hmm, that is finally the first nice group I've got out of the factory ammo. Now, is that, like I said, a matter of the gun being too dirty when we first shot it and too clean the second time we shot it? Don't know. But what I do know is I've got 20 more pieces of once fired brass to build ammo out of. All right, y'all. Hey, now that we're home and we've got it measured out, that's the best group I've fired with the uh, factory ammo. Got a 0.816 inch five shot group. I don't know if maybe I finally got the uh, uh, the following just right in the in the bore. Perhaps prior the bore was too dirty, and maybe the last time I tried, maybe the bore was too clean. I don't know, but trying the best I could, we managed a 0.8 inch group. The modified rounds, which I made longer because my gun, you know, I have my all my ammo set to 15 thousandths off the lens, gave me a 1.27 inch group. So that didn't help me there, but what I did get by lengthening the uh, OAL was I got a much tighter spread on the the velocity average and I got a little bit higher velocity. Interesting. Alrighty y'all, well this was just a really quick video to see if I could experiment and improve, get improved results from the factory ammo by adjusting the overall length of the bullet. As we saw by the target, my grip didn't improve, but the chronograph told us that we uh, got a better velocity and more stable velocity, so there is that. Don't know if I'm going to buy any more factory ammo. It's it's just not producing for me. Like I said, when we looked at the target, that's the that's the first good group this box of ammo has uh, produced. I don't I don't know if it's the current temperature today. I don't know if the bore was too dirty or too clean before, and it just now got to the perfect level of following to make the ammo run good. I don't know. But for this rifle, I'll just keep building my own. And for any of the new people who maybe are just starting watching this, uh, this series, this is a Howa 1500 <clears throat> and 6.5 PRC that I, uh, I got the barreled action from Brownells. I mounted it in a MDT Oryx chassis and put a Vortex 5x25 Viper PST with a Millerad turrets and Millerad reticle. That's the rifle in a nutshell for the new folks. And uh, we will continue doing some 6.5 PRC experimentation. Alrighty, and I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video. I had a lot of fun playing around with adjusting the uh, length of the ammo and I had high hopes for it, but didn't work out, but that's okay. We'll keep loading our own. As always, this is Half Mile Sniper reminding y'all, carry everywhere you can. Get a CCW if you need one. If you're in a constitutional carry state, there's no reason not to be carrying, and I would get a CCW anyways, because you never know, you may travel. Not everyone recognizes and respects constitutional carry. As the saying goes, stay strapped or get clapped. 
That's the shirt I have on today. You can find them in the link below here. And in the description. So I really appreciate y'all hanging with me. Thanks for hanging out in the uh, premieres and the chats and commenting and liking. And I want to thank y'all, all of y'all. I really appreciate it. So until next time, this is a Half Mile Sniper reminding y'all, stay safe, keep shooting. We'll catch you next time. Send it. Hit.